Hi guys, you're with Brett from Fashion by Brett Robson and today I'm giving you guys a January favourites video. Um, I've never done one of these before but I figured it's 2014, let's try some different things, some new things for me. Obviously this is not new in terms of like YouTube and other people's blogs but I just thought, you know, um, why not share at the end of each month some of the things that I am loving. You might find that... Um, a couple of the things are going to be repetitive over the months because I do, when I fall in love with something, I tend to constantly like want to use it and I'm not really that keen on like trying other things and stuff. But I will try and give you guys something different every month and just let you know and maybe even this will force me to sort of try new things. But anyway, let's get started with the video guys. Okay, so I'm going to start with lipsticks. Now we all know that I'm a complete lipstick junkie and I've really been loving MAC's lipsticks of late. And my two favourite um, lipsticks from MAC is one, Snob. This is a very new colour for me. Um, I don't often wear shades like this but it seems to be a huge hit with everyone and I think it's a really beautiful colour. This is Snob. And I am actually really enjoying it. It's pretty and it's a bit subtle for like as compared to like the reds and burgundies that I usually wear. So it's really nice when paired with a bold eye. But at the same time, I'm still also loving my um, Ruby Woo. I will never stop wearing this lipstick. It's one of my favorite of like all-time lipsticks. Like, I mean, I really like the Riri Woo from MAC as well, from her um, Riri Hearts MAC collection. And even that still doesn't completely compare to the um, MAC Ruby Woo. I just simply love these two lipsticks. Anyway, so let's get back on to like sort of makeup stuff. I'm going to go on to um, my Clinique Even Better. Um, this is something that I started using maybe the past, maybe three weeks I think. And what happened is that on this side of my face, um, I started to get a couple blemishes. And so I was very concerned and if anything like very self-conscious about it. And so I had a sample of this because I don't usually use foundation. Another favorite, let me go, just is my Garnier BB Cream. This is my, actually my daily, um, like, face. This is what I put on my face every day. But when I did get the couple blemishes on my face, which I've also, they're still there. And I've also got a couple, like, here on my chin and stuff. I don't know if it's um, maybe my diet or, I don't know, maybe it's just like hormones or whatever, but I don't usually have any sort of pimples and stuff and blemishes, so it's something that makes me very self-conscious. So I was trying to cover it up, and so that's why I used the um, Even Better. Um, I found a sample, and I tried it, and I really enjoyed it. And then um, I was telling my mom, like, you know, I actually really like, like it and whatever, and she actually got me this one. Very sweet of her. And I really just love it because I felt that it was giving me enough coverage and still like making me feel like my skin can breathe because that's something that's very important to me and that's why I also still um that's why I wear BB cream like almost every day is because of that I like my skin to still feel like it's breathing and getting enough air and everything so these are the two um like sort of makeup products for my face that I'm really loving um I want to do a review a proper one on the Clinique even better um when I have some time and maybe after maybe like a month more of trying the product but I have fallen in love with it for now and I'm not really a foundation girl so that's a big deal for me. And I will also link this to your um, Garnier BB Cream um, review that I've already done. Then, now when it comes to my skin, another thing goes back to the fact that I had a couple blemishes and everything. I've been using this Elizabeth Arden Skin Illuminating Smoothing Cleanser. I'm using the full 3 step but I chose to only um, mention the cleanser because I really feel like... This is the star of the um, of the threesome, basically. The toner, I'm not really a person who uses toner very often. And for me, who's so used to using Kiehl's on my face, this was just something when um, my skin started acting up three weeks ago, I thought that, okay, um, maybe I should just change it up in, in terms of my skin routine. And so that's why I tried this Elizabeth Arden um, Skin Illuminating Cleanser. And I really am enjoying it. Um, it's really, it makes my skin feel really awesome and not tight. You know the tightness that some products make your skin feel after you've like cleansed and toned and everything? That's like, I hate, it's a big no-no for me and I won't use products like that. And I love the way this makes my skin feel and it makes it smooth and everything. So I love this. 
Um, I'm not sure I'll do a review on this. I've never really done a proper review on a cleanser before. But I do recommend it. I think it is a good product to try. Okay, so let's talk about my Kiehl's. Because I love my Kiehl's. And even though I'm off it for a while, I'm still keeping my Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is an absolute everyday must for me. I will not go to bed without putting this on. And if I do go to bed without putting it on, I swear the next morning I wake up and I feel like my skin just doesn't feel right. As compared to it feeling so glowy and soft when, it usually, um, when I do use it. So this is an absolutely awesome product. Okay, so let's talk the eyes. I'm going to start off with the Lancome 24 Hour Art Liner. And it's a very beautiful color. It's this blue. It's a cobalt color. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, I tried it a couple times, like maybe five times already. And it's very different for me to be using a um, color colored liner as compared to a plain black. Um, this is the color. It's very beautiful and bold. Um, but even though it is bold, I actually paired it up with the red lip once. And I thought that was a really pretty look. And a lot of people commented saying how much they liked it. Um, so this is very nice, it does last very long, and it's easy to apply, which is even better. Um, basically, yeah, so I haven't tried it for obviously 24 hours, but because it lasts long, I think it is a very good um, liquid liner, so definitely give this a try. Then um, I have a Bobbi Brown Mascara, and this is the Lash Glamour Extreme Lengthening Mascara. I got this as a freebie in a little uh, goodie bag or something, and I tried it a couple weeks ago. And I was like, wow, this is actually a very nice mascara. It doesn't clump very easy. It makes my lashes a lot longer and fuller. And so I'm really enjoying it. And I really like it as well. So give this a try. And then last but not least is nails. Um, I really love this little um, lilac color from Revlon. It is Charming 211. And I think it's a very beautiful color. I'm loving lilac at the moment. And if you follow my blog, you would see that I've worn this quite often on it. So, I'm really, I love this. I just love Revlon nail polish though in general. So, it's sort of an easy one. Um, anyway, yeah. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I look forward to doing more in 2014 at the end of every month. Doing my favorites. And I will definitely try to um, sort of change it up every now and then. And make sure that I am constantly trying new products. That I'm giving you something new and exciting. Definitely subscribe, like and check out my blog. www.breaddropson.com Until next time. Bye.